Hi guys, it's Shell and Clint. Hey. <laughs> He's sitting down. Uh, before you went to sit down though, he did make me a crust for this. Uh, I am making cherry cheesecake, but we're gonna make a blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> so it's very simple. Uh, my sister-in-law made this. Um, you just bring cream cheese to room temperature, add your sweetened condensed milk, which is this. You can use name brand, whatever. Lemon juice, vanilla, and that's it. And then you just pour it into a graham cracker crust and refrigerate. Um, and yesterday or the other day, I made some blueberry pie filling out of freezer blueberries. So I'm going to do that. And I'm still using my, my, uh, what's it called? Stove. My stove does not look clean. It is clean, but it doesn't look like it. All right. So, in order to make the graham cracker crust, let me see what that is. Okay, it's fine. Clint took 16 graham crackers, a quarter or a third of a cup of butter, no, sugar, sorry, third cup of sugar, and seven tablespoons of melted butter. It's a recipe I found online. Um, I'm doubling the recipe, so if you were going to do that, you could just cut all those in half. I don't know. I, I can't eat a lot of sugar right now, but a lot of times when my sister comes, I um, send leftovers home with her. And she probably can't eat a lot of sugar now either because she's on those shots too. But anyhow, you just pat it down. And I am going to pop this in the oven. And I really want that to be really well packed. But I don't want it all over my hands. I'm weird like that. So, I don't like sticky hands. Which is weird because I do a bunch of painting and stuff. But I don't like sticky like honey pans. What? Oh, we stole them? <laughs> can't talk about glasses. So you can use whatever. This is just one that we had cut down. I would just do it without anything. That's good. And then I'm going to bake this for 10 minutes just to have like a crusty um, crust. Crusty crust. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that in the oven. I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our cream cheese. Let's see if I can get more light. Have our cream cheese in here. I'm going to open up both cans of condensed, sweetened condensed milk. Sorry, I'm walking around in my slippers. <laughs> Always wear house slippers when I'm home. No, I'm good. So two of those, you can use, like I said, the, the name brand, off brand, whatever, off brand, whatever you want to do. Um, if you are doing this just for a regular like pie pan, then you're just gonna use one brick of cream cheese, one sweetened condensed milk, and a third cup of lemon juice. But I'm doing the nine by 13, almost said the size of paper. <laughs> so, and you just pour it all together. Oh, and there's also vanilla. I've had these for a while. Also, make like a lemon pie. It's real similar to this, but there's no cream cheese. So, and you know, Clint likes, sometimes he likes sweets. So, he really likes this, he'll eat a lot of it. 
we're just doing things really, really um, simple this year for Christmas. I don't know when you'll see this video, but we're going to have just chicken right steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy. I make gravy without any oil, and it turns out perfectly, and it tastes good too. So I've been doing that for years and years and years. A little bit of vanilla, probably about a tablespoon, teaspoon, couple of teaspoons, tablespoon, whatever. And then my lemon juice, and I'm not sure I have enough, so I need two thirds of lemon juice, two thirds of a cup. But I don't have any more. This is about half full, so we'll see if I have enough. I forgot actually. Like I said, this is my sister in law's um, recipe. And I thought, you know, that will be so easy to do. You can make it the night before. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. And I still have enough for like fish, probably like a teaspoon left. <laughs> I have lemon. I don't use it a lot, but I used it though in, actually this weekend we used it a lot because uh, Clint made some fruit leather. Then I'm just going to stir this up. And that's all it is. There's no eggs in here. Which I really like. I mean, I eat eggs. There's just not any in here. Sorry. I had the cream cheese like sitting out since I got up this morning. This afternoon. I just want, I like it really, really um, light. And I do use a whisk like this. You could put it in an electric mixer or use an electric mixer, especially if it starts getting lumpy. You don't want it lumpy, you want it creamy. But usually if you let it sit out, you know, for a while, then it will get creamy. It's easy to incorporate. Though I may have to throw it in the mixer. My arm's already getting tired. <laughs> well, I'm just stirring the cream cheese, but my hands get. We may have to put it in the electric mixer. Because it's kind of lumpy looking. I don't like that. Well, it's up to you. Going, I'm going to hold on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to the KitchenAid mixer because it's still lumpy and that's not a pretty good. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran it for a couple of minutes in the air fryer, in the air fryer, in the KitchenAid mixer. We have one of those for Clint because he makes bread all the time. Still a little lumpy, but it'll be fine. I don't know why it lumped up like that. I like it though because it's just a one full thing, you know. And I was thinking if you wanted to, you could put these in. In fact, I've seen people do them, put a little bit of graham crackers in a um, the cupcake tins, and then they you know, do that. Yeah, it's a little bit. I probably should have uh, just kind of creamed the um, cream cheese first and then added all the ingredients, but it's fine. Just for us. Nobody else cares, do they? And that's it. So you're going to stick it in the fridge. You're going to let it cool. Let me show you my uh, blueberry pie filling. And I'm not going to put it on yet because I don't want it to like really sink in. I'm gonna let that set up. And if you make it yourself at home, it's a lot cheaper. I think 
it was like five bucks, five or six bucks for two, two cups. Did not look good. So that's gonna go on top. Tomorrow. So I'll show you guys this when we cut it. And um, yeah, I love that. I actually have two of these in the fridge because I wasn't sure how much I needed. But yeah, I think it'll be great. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look awesome? So, and it already tastes really good because I forgot to do a picture first. So yeah, you wanna say hi to sis? Hi, hi. sissy, there's sissy. She's got a shirt, look, it says I love my dog. And then her dog has a shirt that says I love my mom. <laughs> That's what we gave her. <laughs> so hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas or had and love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys.